Something that I found a little bit confusing when I started in Blender was how to subdivide a primitive object. So here I have a plane with lots of different subdivisions and I need it to look like this. But when you bring in a plane, it doesn't have these subdivisions. And um, the way I was going about it was wrong initially. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. So I'm gonna delete this and go to add mesh plane. And now this would work with any primitive object. So it doesn't have to be a plane, but for this example, I'll use plane. And usually I would look at this menu here and try to determine the subdivisions in that initial menu, but there's nothing to do that here. So how do I get it? Well, my initial instinct was to go to add modifier under that little wrench and generate a subdivision surface. But this doesn't work either because this smooths things out and I don't want my plane to get a circular shape. I want it to be square. So that didn't work. So if I take that off, there's another very easy way to do this. So right now I'm in object mode. I have to switch to edit mode. So just hit tab on your keyboard or switch to edit mode like that. Then make sure everything's selected. So just select A on your keyboard and then right click and you have an option called subdivide. That's what we're looking for. So if you click that, you'll see that it instantly subdivided my object into four squares, uh, but I can change the number of cuts by just going to this little button uh, here, this little bottom area, and selecting maybe 100. And there you go. And if you get a subdivide menu that isn't quite as big, just drop down the arrow and you'll see all the options there. Now this is cool. Um, now you can bump up other options, smoothness, all this stuff, but really I just wanted to change the number of cuts. So this is what I was looking for. Like I said, this works for other objects. So now if I go back into object mode, move this over, add mesh cube. I have to go to edit mode, right click, subdivide, and same deal. Perfect. So that's it. I hope this helped you guys. This is super useful, uh, especially initially when you start out and you want something to have lots of faces um, to work with. Please check out my playlist in Blender for more, and I really appreciate you watching.